everyone! Today I'm gonna to be building in Bloxburg, but each room is a random budget. The lowest budget we can get for a room is a hundred. I like the risk of not being able to put a single thing in a room. <laughs> the highest budget we can get is 30,000, which is a lot of money. And this right here is our house. Now look, don't talk about the roofing situation. I'm not very good with roofs. This is our little beach house that I made. There's eight rooms in total here. This is the foyer, hallway, garage, living room, library, bedroom, ensuite, and kitchen. But anyways, we're gonna start with the foyer and we need the budget. How much is our foyer going to cost? 17. <laughs> I'm laughing out of pain. This is definitely gonna be a very fancy beach house. <laughs> 18,000 for a foyer. <laughs> oh my God. What kind of entryway is this? Is it made out of gold? Is it made out of diamonds? As you can see, I set the budget right down here. We definitely need a bench. Now I gotta buy the most expensive one, but I don't think this one would be the correct bench to use. <laughs> we'll go for this fancy bench. I'm going for a very like beachy coastal vibe for this build. So I'm gonna choose a lot of blues and whites. Why is it not letting me buy this? You need a higher budget. Huh? I have that budget. What's going on here? A little glitch. Anyways, let's just grab Grab our essentials. We also need an umbrella stand. I think we're gonna be using a lot of this wicker pattern. That looks kind of coastal. Let's get the classic hat stand. Good 300 bucks right there. I still need <laughs> to spend 16,000. Okay, you know what? It's gonna happen with like paintings and sculptures for sure. I think it would be good to maybe add like a basic shape to create a step here. Cause look at how much of a drop this is. It's a health hazard. That's why I'm doing this. Not to just find ways to spend money. <laughs> now it's less of a health hazard. I was thinking maybe we could add a carpet. I wanna make it look like it's a woven carpet right here at the end. Entrance. I just gotta resize it. How would the wicker pattern look on this? Honestly, it's not bad. I like it. But there's also another pattern that looks woven, which is like this flower material. I'm just gonna go for the wicker. Now, let's see. What's the most expensive shelf? This latter one is 500 bucks. Seems like a pretty good purchase. On this shelf, we should put some very expensive items. Sunflowers are pricey. That's good to know. So maybe in that case, a planter box like this one with some sunflowers inside is a good way to use up the budget. But I gotta find a decoration on the shelf. This concrete frog, it seems very necessary for the entryway. The only way you know that you're truly home is when this frog looks at you. I'm gonna make it blue cause coastal. Look at this sculpture, 700 bucks, of course. This mirror, a thousand bucks, don't mind if I do. The little alpaca. You know what, I kinda like the thought that the person who lives this house is just like a big fan of these sort of animal sculptures and they always get them in blue. Maybe they own like a zoo. They're a zookeeper. This ladder shelf is lacking. We need some plants on it, like this terrarium. A little painting stand. Now I'm getting scared that I might be going overboard with all the items at the front here. I'm trying to make them look like they're natural, not like it's me trying to spend money because a random budget thing told me to. Another great way to spend money is actually adding lights. And I feel like maybe the geometric chandelier would be good. If we place like two here and I kind of want to give it like a wicker pattern. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. That looks awesome. Our wall is still empty, which means that we can put an extra large painting on it. 300 bucks. Easy peasy. We still have 7,000 left in our budget. What we could do for the rest of our budget is add pillows. Let's grab the most expensive ones. This trimmed one. Look at that darkness. That is so scary. Whenever I think of like a spooky house with ghosts, I never think of like a beach house. I also want to low-key add a flower pillow just because they're so cute. Although I don't know if the flowers got anything to do with the beach. I also want to grab this floor plant and put it next to this hat stand. This floor lamp is nice. Don't get me wrong, but the way that it like tilts is so good. Goofy. That was a good way to get rid of 800 bucks and get some extra light. This entryway is starting to get very filled up. We're really running out of room here. Now I'm desperate. I need to spend this money. How much are slippers? 65 per slipper. Unbelievable. Do you know how much money I gotta spend? I'm gonna put like four underneath this bench. We're gonna grab this succulent, place it next to the frog. Now you have some company, Mr. Frog. Maybe I'll also put it here next to the llama. Oh, look at these books. These books are expensive. That means I can stack them. I'm gonna put like a stack right there and I guess I'm gonna and grab it. <gasps> 2,000, that is so perfect. I wanna put another stack right here. I like these stacked books. It also just looks nice. 573, what can we spend with that? I know exactly what we should do. I completely forgot to do this, but we should grab an end table. I wanna put keys and a couple of fragrances on this. I think I'll go for the fancy one and try to squeeze it in somewhere. Now we gotta yoink these car keys, put it here. 195 left. Okay, can we put the fragrances? These ones fit and it's literally 170 bucks. Boom, 25 is left in the budget. I could just place a pen cup. You're a liar. It says you don't have 
five bucks, but I do have five bucks. The audacity. So that's the entryway slash foyer. Now we're gonna move on over here to the library. What is the budget for our library? 8,900, not bad. We can do something with that. The budget has updated. Oh man, we also need to add lights. I'm just gonna go for some cheap lights, honestly, because I don't know if we're gonna have enough money to put all the books and the books are very important for a library. Let's start off with this little corner here. I wanna put this traditional bookshelf. See, that's 650. That is one bookshelf and we need more. I'm also gonna place this traditional wide bookshelf. I wanna put it like here. That was 850. Recolor it, 10 bucks. And then I wanna grab this carpet, place it here. I want it to be large for sure. I want it to like take up the whole room almost. 7K left, not bad. But once we start placing the books, maybe we're gonna start crying. I'm gonna use a mixture of books. So the ordered ones, the uneven ones, the stacked ones, and we're gonna recolor them. I think each recolor is gonna be like 20 bucks, right? Oh, that one was 10 bucks. And now we're gonna try placing it. Yeah, this is where the money starts to vanish. Oh, and I just realized that there is no way to this hallway. <laughs> we might have to restructure this floor plan. Now we gotta place all these books on this bookshelf. We can also add some decor in there. Like we can grab this geometric terrarium, 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 place it here. Grab the little succulent, place it there, place it here. Hanging chair, yep, that's coastal. And I low key want this circular chair in a corner like this evergreen floor plan. Give it a nice little design. A little coffee table in the middle, like this metal spokes coffee table. And on this table, we will grab this standard tray, put two candles, cause it's so dark in here and some roses in the middle. If you see the budget like drop down here by like 10, 15 or 25, it's cause I'm recoloring as I go. I want the sophisticated floor lamp. I guess I can put it right here. It looks a little weird. I want vine plants. One there, another there. And we need another one right here. I will go ahead and put this geometric chandelier again cause it looks so pretty. So now it's time for the alpaca. 900 bucks right there. A little mug, make it blue for coastal. We still have 121 left in our budget, which probably means that we could put like a small trash can. I'm gonna put it next to this floor plan. And now we got 76. I just wanna place like one item just to take up the budget. A gift bag. I don't know why you would leave this gift bag in your library. Maybe you got new books. Yeah, that makes sense. One dollar, that's it. Library is done. We're gonna do the garage. All right, Google, tell me. What is the budget for the garage? Please be good, because I really wanna put a car in there. Please give me something good. <gasps> you don't have to go that far. You don't have to make it 27,000. Although actually, maybe that's a perfect number to buy a car. So as you can see, the budget has been updated. Let's see what kind of cars we can buy. If I buy this car, then we're only gonna be left with, yeah, 2,000. So I'm gonna add just the decorations first and then I'll try adding the car. I definitely wanna put these crates. I like to put three in a row like that. And then I love grabbing the simplicity desk and making it look like a little workshop. You would totally have a ladder in here though. Now we just gotta place some of the gardening tools. Maybe also the plastic rake would be here. I clearly have never been in a garage. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Would a fire extinguisher be in here? An air pump, I feel like this would be in a garage. Let's not forget to grab a couple of lights. Now I don't think the garage would have any fancy lights. I think it would just be like regular good old ceiling lights. How could I forget a chair for your workshop? I'm sorry, I'm very, very rude. Here you go. I think at this point we know what car we're getting. <laughs> we're gonna get the Rope 500. I feel like I pronounced that correctly. We want a nice blue car. Like this one, this looks like the seat. Now we have 6.5 left to our budget and I really wanna add like bags of soil. I just wanna buy a couple. I'm gonna put them <laughs> in a triangular design. I like this little view over here. You can even see this little pond. I feel like people usually use their garages for storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these bookshelves. I'm trying to figure out which one. I guess this one and I'll put it side to side. Oh, I gotta move these away. Oh, I know exactly what you could put in here. Toilet paper galore. Do you need this much toilet paper? Probably not. Put a couple of C packages. 3.2 still left to the budget. Time to act rich. Let's buy something expensive. Oh, that's pricey, but we don't need that. Some people also use the garage to work out, I think, maybe, right? I spent a long time grinding all of these workout items. So I'm very happy to actually use them. And I'm also happy that they cost a lot. I mean, I could literally just buy this and be like, okay, we're done. You could have a punching bag here. We're also gonna place a couple of like random workout items like this exercise ball, a little bit of jump rope. Sure, like I can see them having the basketball. Oh, that would cost 500 bucks. I guess that's it. <laughs> I can't really add much more in here. We got 59 bucks left. What are we gonna add to this garage? Let's see. I'm gonna put these books, the pretty books. Nine bucks left. Can I buy anything? Looks like no. I think I'm just gonna like recolor something. Maybe the protein powder. Okay, you know what? This little lid is orange. It's time to make it blue because this is a coastal house. And that's it. We're left with four bucks. Now that the garage is done, we're gonna move on over here to the living room. What's the budget of the living room? What's it gonna be? 6.7K. All right. Yeah, that would fit a couch and a TV for sure. The budget has been updated. Let's place the number one essentials, a couch. And it looks like they're actually decently priced. That's good. One hairpin sofa there and another one there. Cause we got this door right in the middle. I added this door off camera. The doors are not like a part of the budget. So I added them all separately. You know, good thing I put the roof back 
back on to remind me that it's too dark in there. Let's grab these geometrical chandeliers. Lace three. I am realizing that the budget is very little for the living room. What am I doing? These couches were probably too expensive. I think I went over budget. Oh no. Why did I think the living room would be fine? Okay, we gotta undo some things. I'm being too expensive. I'm gonna pace myself. I gotta go for cheap stuff. This is cheap. Well, cheaper. I'll place one. I'm being very careful now. We don't wanna go over the budget. I really want this console table, but it's 280. Is that too expensive? I don't know anymore. Maybe it is. I'm actually being super cheap now. <laughs> I'm gonna use this as like a console table. Okay, it's not a console table, but I'm gonna pretend that it is because it's cheaper, kind of. I think I'm still saving on money doing this because I wanna buy a pretty TV. AccuSlim TV. Yep, you can definitely watch TV like that. You definitely need a coffee table and I'm gonna get the cheapest one. I don't wanna run out of money. We still need lights and I feel like these lights are too pricey. 500 each, not with this budget. The LED lights are cheap though. Looks kind of cool. I'm gonna grab these ceiling lights because they're kind of cheap and they do like create a lot of light. The living room does feel very empty. I feel like an armchair in this corner would help, but it's not like I can get the fanciest one. So the simple one's gonna have to do. This is a very sad living room, <laughs> but I'm happy. We still have money. Carpet in the center. Maybe this can help bring it together. A little floor light right here. Look at how much light that brings us. Definitely fills up the space. <laughs> Perhaps decor will help us a lot. That was 400 bucks. Can I have a cheaper painting, please? I was thinking of putting like three of these, but it's gonna be too expensive. There's not many cheap paintings. I guess this is actually not a bad price considering how much space it takes up. I'm gonna grab this quadratic end table and I wanna put two like that. Maybe we can grab this tray from here. How much? 700? Why is everything so expensive? Can I please get a cheap candle? This vintage one is kind of cheap. Don't know how we're gonna make that look coastal, but maybe that's not our biggest concern right now. You could totally have like a framed photo here. We'll put two of them because it's so cheap. We need something in the middle. I know exactly what to do. I just need like a very cheap vase. Why are these vases not cheap? This one's kind of cheap. It's 95 bucks, but the flowers we put inside are free. Well, that kind of filled up some space. 2.9 left in the budget. This is what the living room is looking like. <laughs> it's not looking too good for us. I know that we just need some more decoration. That's literally it. A little floor plant would not hurt. Oh, we could use the plain rectangular shelf, create like a design. Rab made me a couple of books. I know we have a whole library, but you know, books don't hurt. This is the cheapest plant that we can put. Maybe another armchair. I put the painting stand here. I guess I'll just use this coffee table again and I'll put papers on it so it looks a little decorated. Put a mug right here. Maybe a shelf. Where are the hanging vines? Here they are. We just put it up here. I think this might help make it look a little nicer. I'll put another hanging vine right here. I don't know what to put, but these stacked papers are very cheap. 743 left to the budget. I might try to put another carpet. Just fill up the space a little bit. Ooh, we need some more pretty flowers to look at. I'm literally trying to find any place to put some flowers. Put it there. Maybe I also I can put it on top of here. And now let's put some of these free flowers in there. It feels so good that they're free. I feel like I can use so many of them. This is looking a little bit better. We got 261 left. So as a final item, I'm gonna put some magazines, another coffee cup, a little trash can, recolor, 45 bucks left. I'm between all of these items that cost 45 exactly. Just one singular Polaroid? <laughs> no. Crayons? Sure, crayons on top of the paper. And officially the budget is zero. The living room is done and I decided that this is gonna be the dining area. So before we even get to that, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the kitchen. What's our budget for the kitchen gonna be? Please, at least 15. <gasps> yes, the budget has been updated and I am so ready to start this kitchen. Like after doing that living room, I'm just so happy to have an expensive kitchen. But we're gonna get a counter here, another counter and another counter. We can just go crazy with counters. We don't care. We got all the money in the world. We can also get a fridge cabinet, 1.2. We don't care. We can also buy the Pro Chef stove, 4K, Pff, who cares? <laughs> Arctic fridge, 2.6, good old modern glass hood. We need another cabinet to put our microwave. We gonna put this glass cabinet next to it. And honestly, I'm just gonna get another shelf cabinet cause I kinda wanna put mugs in there. Time to recolor, making the fridge like blue. Cause it's coastal, gotta look good. All the rest of the appliances, it's time. Toaster, coffee maker, the blender, and don't forget a very pretty microwave. See, we're still good on money. I knew we would be fine. Look at this, we got so much money. We're good. And I can grab the very pretty geometric chandeliers. Oh, I'm really going crazy with money here. I can't help it. I guess now we could just use some good old kitchen decor. So like this paper stand, this dish drying rack, perhaps a dishwasher. Maybe I could turn this into like a pantry. The way I like to make my pantries is using this traditional bookshelf. And now we're just gonna add a couple of plates in here. We can add so many things. I'm actually so happy about this. You could put also these stacked bowls, a couple more cups. You can put your cookware in here too. Wait, isn't a pantry the thing where you actually put all your groceries? 
pantries. Yeah, this is not a pantry. <laughs> this is more like storing your kitchen stuff. And now we're actually running a bit low on the budget. We got 3.9 left. So I think a little floor plant would be good. I'm also gonna put the simplicity dresser because I think it would be good to have some picture frames. A little carpet for the sink, slightly rotated for realism, totally. 3.2. I feel like a trash can is very important for the kitchen. I'm gonna put it next to the oven. I just wanna put another table. I just think it would be good to put some decor on this. And by that, I mean a fruit bowl. Some spice. Oh, the utensil rack takes up 2K. Easy peasy. I'm gonna give them this linear floor plan. I'm not sure where you're meant to put this kitchen organizer shelf. I could put it here. I was really thinking of putting it above the window, but this is a much better spot. There's a voice in my head and it's telling me to put two alpacas down. Two alpacas is too expensive. We would need a budget of 1.8 to put two alpacas. Look at the alpaca. It's staring at us. It knows that it has to be in this kitchen. Okay, I got you. I got you. Always like a little pet. Oh, that's actually adorable. We have a budget of 586 left, so some roses would not hurt. A couple of sticky notes. These have your groceries written on them. This cactus. It's 145 and we got a budget of 146, so it's perfect. I'm gonna place it next to the roses. Oh, I can't even recolor it. No, no, I want to recolor it. I'm so sorry, cactus. I really want to recolor, but I cannot. So the kitchen is done and we're left with $1. <laughs> so we're gonna move on over to the dining area. What is the budget for the dining area? 2.6 thousand? Can that even fit like four dining chairs? I think it could, but the decor in that room is gonna be very minimal. The budget has been updated. We need a round dining table. I'll use a trendy one. I'll just place it in the corner. Oh, and that already took up a lot of the budget. Maybe I shouldn't have used that. It's okay, because I'll use the cheap simplicity chairs. I could literally just place another one like here. It might be worth it. We have all this space here. Am I just gonna leave it empty? I don't think that's a good idea. I think we can afford a couple of placemats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Never mind, never mind. We cannot afford the placemats. Okay, what about the plates? One, two, three, four. Oh, this is so much better. One, two, three, four. We need light though. Cheap ceiling lights to the rescue. We got one, two. We have 46 bucks left. That's it. The good thing is that dining areas don't need to be like extravagant. I want to put something in the center, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Perfect. Mustard. Oh no, I can only put one mustard. Are you guys going to have to share the mustard with this table? That's the dining area. Now we're going to move on over to the bedroom. What is the budget for the bedroom? 8,700 for the bedroom. I feel like that's not good enough. <laughs> As you can see, I updated the budget and now let's try to place a bed. I'm going to grab the curved single bed, grab the wardrobe. I'm just going to grab the cheapest one, make sure we can put everything we want. A little desk in the corner, place down a chair. I cannot afford a good laptop for you, but you can get the pairing Tosh. I really want the geometric lights. They're so pretty. I'm gonna put one, two, and three. Even though they're expensive, I think they're worth it. I just want some pillows for this person. I wanna give them something nice. I feel like the more pillows, the better it always looks. 250 bucks for a comforter. Living lavishly here. I'm gonna use the simplicity end table. A little alarm clock. I wanna give them some roses as well. We still have 3.8. I'm feeling happy about this. We're doing okay. Let's grab this sophisticated lamp. I'll put a couple more of these ceiling lights because it just feels so dark in this room. I think it would be good if we put a carpet and then right on this wall, we could have a little bookshelf. I want to grab this oak bookshelf and we're going to grab some of these books from the library. Don't want to put too many. A couple of plants in there, some vine plants as well. I think the final piece of decor that I'm going to try to do is the memo board over on this wall. Put a couple of very important sticky notes, pen cup. I really want to use these crystals and maybe those sticks as well. You may not have the best computer, but at least you got the crystals and the sticks on your side. Maybe they were doing a little bit a light reading with the magazines. I really want them to have a cute little teddy bear. Oh, I love that. You know what? They could totally be drawing on the bed. A couple of gift bags. They came back from shopping. Oh, we're left with 400 bucks. 367 for this painting. Yes, I just got to put it right here. Boom. We got 50 bucks left. Here is some moisturizer. That used up our whole budget. Finally, what's left in this house is the ensuite. All right, random number generator. It is time for the bathroom. Please be nice to me. What's it gonna be? 5,008. I think that's actually our lowest number. The budget has been updated. Let's just grab a good old toilet. Yes, <laughs> the mighty flush toilet. I love the name. A good old industrial sink right in front of the door. This modern tile corner shower. Horizontal mirror. Just making sure we got our essentials so I don't forget. Plunger, no problem. Trash can, I got you. And I'm even gonna give you a couple of towel hangers. I really wanna put some glass shelving so we can do a little bit of storage. Like put toilet paper on it actually. <laughs> That's like what I mean whenever I say storage. I'm recoloring these things so they're making the budget go down. I just really would like to put a floor plant. I'm a this one place it right there oh wait we need some light it's dark in there grab a couple of towels
towels. Oh, we can't even place that many. Two towels there, another two here. Grab the toilet paper, 38 bucks left. Wait, what if you spilled your coffee in here? Also, we can do a little recoloring. All right, we're done, it's time to tour. The total value of our beach house is 126,000. The exterior was a whole separate price. I didn't include it while making this. Anyways, this is what it looks like all around. I know the exterior is a little goofy. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that. This is our foyer. I like this entryway very much. Moving on, we enter the library. Overall, actually, I really like this house. I like this style, I haven't done it before. And to do it in a random budget challenge. <laughs> this is the dining area. This is our kitchen. I had so much fun in the kitchen. If we go on through here, we enter our garage. We have our bedroom, very nice bedroom, little office, and of course, the ensuite with the little coffee spill. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I love you guys so much. Bye.